So I just made a friend on the train track. What's your name? Hello guys, welcome to Dakar. For the last few days I haven't done too much exploring or filming because I've just been sitting in my room finishing off a lot of edits that I have to get done. I'm very happy now. Hello! I'm very happy that I finished because I had a lot of footage that I had to get through and finally did it. So finished that late last night. Now I'm out filming again to get some more footage, make some more videos. I'm just gonna walk down to this crazy intersection that I've discovered in the last few days that I've been here. You're gonna see some incredible traffic. They've got really interesting buses here. They have these old double-decker buses. So we'll walk down there, see what we can see on the way. There's some cool little food stalls and things and have a little bit of a wander today. by those few clips that it's a super interesting place. Lots going on and like that guy. Now I'm going to show you the train tracks. The train tracks are absolutely nuts. That's incredible. Look at this. <laughs> Already got a group of people around me just filming that time. Hello. So I just made a friend on the train tracks here. What was your name again? My name is Nishat. Nishat. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You live here in this area? Uh, I live in uh, the food market uh -huh. middle Ajumpur. Uh -huh. Literally every time I stop filming, I end up with like a huge crowd of people around me. When I'm filming a time lapse or something, I look behind me after like a minute and there's like 50 people. But right now there's a train coming, check it out. Maybe there's some people on the roof of this one. This place is incredible. Hi. What's your name? My name is Hani. Hani. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Your name? Mama Omar Faru. Mama Omar Faru? Omar Faru. Omar Faru. Omar Faru. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. You're from? New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Okay. Bye-bye. Your country? New Zealand. So as you can see, everybody's extremely welcoming here. Everybody's like inviting me over and asking me to take photos of them. Super cool way to meet people. If you know my channel, then you know that I've traveled to India many times and spent a lot of time in India, but the vibe here is a lot different to India. It seems a lot kind of more like laid back. Like it's obviously chaos, but it seems a bit more chill. If that makes any sense, 
I don't know if it does. That train scene is incredible. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to come to Bangladesh because I saw some photos of some people on trains. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Fine. Cool. Everybody's very welcoming. But yeah, I saw a picture of a train in, in Bangladesh with like 20,000 people sitting on top of it and it was one of the main attractions for me. So that's why I wanted to come here just to see that density of the population being the most densely populated city here, Dakar in the world. Hello. People just looking at me with their jaws drop sometimes. Another interesting fact, if you don't know, Bangladesh is actually a Muslim country. The reason for that is because Bangladesh used to be East Pakistan, and before that it was India. And so India was kind of separated by the British. India used to go into Pakistan and over here into Bangladesh, but they were separated kind of by religion in a way. I know I'm gonna get like 10,000 comments about how I'm incorrect or I've said something slightly wrong, but you know, that's normal. And it'll be super interesting if you're from Bangladesh and you can hear everything that everybody's saying around me because uh, I'm sure they're saying some interesting things. All right guys, I'm gonna keep walking to this intersection I'm going to to show you the madness of this intersection because it's fascinating. Tell you what I'm about to see now and then walk into it because when I get there, it's gonna be very hard to talk over all the horns. This is mellow compared to what's coming. So I'm about to walk into this huge intersection and there's an overbridge that goes, there's an overbridge that goes over the top of the main road here. And it's really loud, so get ready for this. It's breathtaking. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, get ready. <laughs> your commute home from work this afternoon. Time for some time lapses, I think. shawarma there. I tried to set up my camera so I could like film me eating it and explaining it to you but 
it's pretty much impossible. I found kind of a quiet street and then this guy literally just came up to me and just was staring like right at me. And I was just like, hi. He's like, hi. Yeah, you can't really find a quiet place. I don't know about you, but when I eat, I don't like an audience of 2,000 people. It was pretty delicious though. It cost 60 taka. Taka is the Bangladeshi currency. I think one US dollar equals about 70 taka. So that was 60 taka. So really good value. Quite delicious. A little bit of spice. I think it was chicken. And I think that's quite safe to eat maybe. You know, it's been cooked right in front of you. That's what I hope. If I get sick in the next few days, you're allowed to say it's your own fault, but I think that kind of street food's a bit safer than the street food that's been sitting out for I don't know how long. So as you can see, Bangladesh is very affordable if you're coming from, if you're coming from the Western world. I will be making a video on prices here, how expensive is Bangladesh, so stay tuned for that one, it'll be interesting. I just went to the supermarket and bought some oranges and some nuts and water and things. Very interesting, like people just are very interested in what I'm doing. This is the first time I've kind of gone out vlogging like into the really busy areas so you get a lot more attention with the camera. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Like I was saying, filming those time lapses earlier, I'd put the camera down and I'd just be looking at the screen while the time lapse was recording. And I'd literally turn behind me like 30 seconds later, I'd have a crowd of people behind me staring. Which is cool, obviously it's a weird thing. Some random white dude like filming traffic, which is, you know, it's normal if you're from Bangladesh, you know, you know that this is normal life for you, but coming from the where I come from, it's very interesting and uh, pretty entertaining to see the, the traffic that you guys have in your country. I'm just gonna head back to the house now, just a kind of an introduction into the madness that's to come from Bangladesh. Good to be back into the real-time recording and editing. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow. I'm meeting a Bangladeshi friend that I met in India last year. We're gonna go to this river. It looks absolutely amazing. It's another day. It's one of the other reasons I wanted to come to Bangladesh because this river just looks incredible for so many reasons. Anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and uh, welcome to Bangladesh.